I love using a dry adhesive to adhere artwork, and I'd love to show you why. I'm Victoria Foster Harrison of the Curly Girl Art Studio in Port Townsend, Washington. Today, I'm going to adhere this piece of artwork to a panel. It's 16 by 20, and it's a pretty large one. So um, I do want to show you how easy it is to adhere large items. The very first thing I am going to do is get out my Scotch 3M 568. I love this product and it comes in 11 inches wide, 16 inches wide, 24 inches wide. Today I'm going to use the um, largest one. I love this uh, adhesive, it's double sided and it's repositionable. It also creates uh, minimal bubbles and it's easy peasy as far as I don't have to wait for a wet adhesive to dry. I have my print. This is an encaustic monotype created with beeswax and paper. Uh, I have treated the back with encaustic gesso. Because the back of the print is usually pretty slippery from the wax, the adhesive um, can tend to slide off. I add a grit to the back of it uh, so that it, it the adhesive will stick. And I have a variety of Instagram reels for that um, on Curly Girl Art Studio. So I lay my print right on this adhesive. I'm laying it on, this is sticky right here. And I'm just going to take my hand and gently rub it. I will take a cutting blade and I really want a sharp edge. So this one has uh, breakable uh, pieces on it and I'm just going to take pliers and uh, give it a little twist so that I have a fresh new blade. And I'm also going to lock my blade for safety. Then I'm just going to randomly take this blade, give it a pull right along here if I put a ruler on it, it will stick. I am also going to get this excess off here. And I save these little bits, I just roll them up. It won't stick to it itself. I'm going to roll it up and use it later for a greeting card or parts of collage. I have a little box that I just throw all my little bits in and I use them later. It's the economical part of me. <laughs> then I'm also going to take this extra little strip off. I don't want it to stick to my self healing mat. I'm just gonna set that aside. Now I'm going to take my artwork face down. This is the back side of the adhesive. It has a, a surface that we'll pull off later. In the box comes a burnisher and I'm going to burnish it. This might seem a little bit laborious, but in comparison to waiting for a wet adhesive to dry, it's well worth my time. So I go uh, in four directions. I call it North, East, South, West. And I'm just going to give it a burnish. I'm going to turn it. Do it one more time. And if I don't do it four times, I find that if I pull the backing off, it's pulling up some of the adhesive and it's not sticking to the paper. So I will continue doing it. This is my third time. And my fourth time. Today I am attaching this to a cradled panel, but I can also attach it to watercolor paper or whatever I'm using for um, collage or chincolet um, type adhesive. 
This is sticking just a little tiny bit, or I mean not sticking, it is the adhesive of pulling off just a tiny bit. But if I find a problem, I will just continue burnishing that one little area. Here's one area that didn't adhere properly. And here's another one. And I'm glad this is happening so that you can see what I do to fix it. Just going to burnish, give it another little burnish all along here. And it's looking pretty good. A little bit more. And I set this backing aside and I'll be tossing that. Then I grab my cradle panel. I lay this print right on the panel and it is repositionable for a little while. Um, I want to make sure, oops, I forgot one thing. I do take my hand and give it a rub because I don't want any debris that will cause a little lump. So I'm just um, setting this down exactly where I want it. I can kind of fold my print over. I can see that I want to move it to my left just a little bit. So I can lift that right up and set it down again. Let me check this top area. And with my hand, I'm going to go out from the middle And in the box of the 3M comes a liner which helps um, to protect your print when I'm going to burnish it one more time because I need that artwork to stick to the panel. And again, I'm going to go that northeast, southwest. directions and I'll be done. I do give the edges a little extra. Definitely want those edges to adhere. Then I'm going to pick place my artwork face down. I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and just run it along the edge here. I'm holding my knife against the panel. This edge is was uh, torn, so it has kind of a funny edge to it. Wipe those away. And they're sticking to my hands, so let me just take a minute and get that off. my last side and in just a matter of a few minutes I have adhered my encaustic monotype to a cradled panel I now have some stickiness on my hands from just touching it here and there and I just use a nail polish remover to get that off and it comes right off if you have any questions leave them in the comments on my on this YouTube channel thank you